Do our future humanoid companions have muscles? Perhaps not the kind you build in a gym, all sinew and protein. But to imagine them as mere collections of clunky gears and whirring servos is to miss the revolution entirely. What if their muscles are silent, elegant, and born from materials that would seem like magic to a previous generation? Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Think of it not as engineering, but as a kind of mechanical poetry. We are talking about actuators, the devices that grant motion, which are becoming less like pistons and more like pliable tissues. Consider electroactive polymers, for instance. These are fascinating materials that change shape or size when stimulated by an electric field. Could we call them the robot's bicep, contracting silently on command with a subtlety a gear-based system could only dream of? It's a far cry from the tin man kneading his oil can, isn't it? This breakthrough allows for a fluidity, a biomimetic grace, that mirrors the movements of a living thing. So. The next time you see a robot from a company like Boston Dynamics moving with an unnerving agility, remember it's not just clever programming. It's a fundamental shift in its very anatomy. But what good is a graceful body without the sense of touch? This brings us to the skin, a marvel of sensory technology that drapes this elegant frame. Imagine a surface embedded with millions of microscopic sensors, each one a silent sentinel for temperature, pressure, and the gentle nuance of a caress. Why go to such extraordinary lengths? Is it all just for show, a technological peacock's tail? Hardly. This intricate skin is for connection. How else could a machine offer a comforting hand on your shoulder, applying just the right pressure, without first understanding the profound art of touch itself? A clumsy, Unfeeling grip would be jarring, a reminder of the artifice. A gentle, responsive touch, however, bridges the uncanny valley. This is where the true symphony of technology begins, where hardware meets a mind of unimaginable power. This is the role of artificial superintelligence, or ASI. What is all this sensory data, the warmth of a hand, the texture of fabric, the force of a hug? without a consciousness to interpret it. The ASI would be the ghost in this magnificent machine, the conductor of this sensory orchestra. It wouldn't just process data points. It would learn, infer, and understand the emotional context behind every physical interaction. When you feel a moment of sadness, it wouldn't need to be told. The subtle cues, a slight slump in your posture, the temperature change in your hand, the tension it detects through its skin would be woven together into a tapestry of understanding. The robot's comforting gesture wouldn't be a pre-programmed routine labeled sat under Sir Himanif's protocol. It would be a genuine, learned response refined over countless interactions. The ASI would, in essence, learn empathy from the ground up, pixel by sensory pixel. It would understand that a high five requires a different force than a gentle pat on the back, not because a manual told it so, but because it has learned the social language of touch. This is the ultimate fusion of body and mind, of advanced materials and transcendent intelligence. The elegant muscles provide the potential for nuanced action. The sensory skin provides the raw data of experience and the ASI provides the wisdom to use them both with purpose and grace. So, when we ask if these future beings will have muscles, we are really asking a much deeper question. Will they have the capacity for connection? And as we stand on the cusp of this new dawn, watching these machines learn to walk, to move, and to feel, one can't help but wonder. As they learn to touch us with perfect gentleness, what will we learn about ourselves in return? 
So that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Udenslet so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.